So as I'm sure you have felt, we are living in a radically changing world. Knowledge, information, and technology are expanding exponentially. The top 10 most coveted jobs today didn't even exist 10 years ago. Just think about that. This is challenging all of us. No matter how old you are or what you do, we are all challenged to stay relevant and competitive. The U.S. Department of Labor reports that today's worker will have 10 to 14 different jobs over the next 20 years. Besides your continual and never-ending practice of learning and self-improvement, what will be your number one asset during these expanding and fast-changing times? Think about it. Don't just wait for me to give it to you as an answer. Besides your ceaseless commitment to your growth and development, what will be your number one asset during these expanding and fast-changing times? It's not experience. Most of that was rendered obsolete by morning time. It's not money. That's what it is at jeopardy here, in fact. Let me give it to you. Unequivocally, it will be the relationships that you can build. In today's marketplace, if we want to calculate your potential for increased wealth, we would not look at your current bank balance or your cars or your property inventory. What we would look at is the inventory of your quality and high caliber relationships. Therefore, the major skill that you want to hone, practice, and master will be your ability to network. Your ability to get to, connect with, and establish relationships with important and purposeful people. People who will be your gateway to any goal, destination, or aspiration that you have. So the first thing that I want you to uh, conquer here this morning is the single greatest obstacle that you have to getting to anyone you ever want to connect with. What is that? Yep, you guessed it, it's fear. To get us started, I wanna pull the curtain open on one of the most spellbinding and fear-gripping illusions that we have about networking and connecting with our big kahuna dream relationship. Just like in the classic book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, people build up a front about who they are. You will remember that Oz did his best to portray himself as a mysterious and powerful and frightening, uh, appearing once as a giant head, once as a beautiful fairy, once as a ball of fire, and once as a horrible monster. But when the curtain is finally pulled back, it was found out that Oz is actually none of these things, but rather a kind, ordinary man from Omaha, Nebraska, who has been using a lot of elaborate magic tricks and props to make himself appear great and powerful to the people of Oz. This is true about a lot of people who appear to be very imposing and powerful, but behind the fanciful press releases and the elaborate packaging, they are really only normal, frail, sensitive, vulnerable, fearful, hopeful, generous, and flawed human beings, just like the rest of us. And many times it is not even the attempt at wizardry on the part of the subject. Rather, it is the illusion other people invent or create about them. In fact, I would say that is more often the case. Having led three success television networks and Success Magazine, I've had the opportunity to meet and spend time with some of the most celebrated and revered people on earth. I can tell you firsthand, every one of these famous superstars is just as normal as your next door neighbor or second cousin. While they might have done some pretty impressive things and have some very insightful philosophies and ideas to share, they themselves are simply flesh and bones wrestling with the same human frailties we all do. Here's a guy who comes to mind, Peter Guber. Now, Peter is the former chairman and CEO of Columbia and Sony Pictures Entertainment, where his movies earned over $3 billion and garnered him 50 5 Academy Award nominations. His company now, Mandalay Entertainment, is one of the largest owners of professional affiliated baseball teams and stadiums in the United States. And with partners, he owns the NBA Golden State Warriors, which won three NBA titles since his ownership. When he was head of Sony Entertainment, there were thousands of employees and contractors who would shiver at the mere mention of his name or, the or his entrance into the same room. Actors, directors, and screenplay writers would lay awake at night for weeks, fear-stricken about their upcoming meeting or opportunity to present to him. This continues to be true today, not, now not only in Hollywood, but also in sports entertainment. Well, a little while back, uh, he invited me to his home in Bel Air, and I found him to be 
extremely gracious, warm, humble, open, sincere, and very affable. He had the full Batman armor from one of his movies as a statue in his game room, which I thought was pretty cool. It was in that room where Peter talked about his struggles, his hopes, his unrealized passions. He had invited me to his home because he needed help. He was publishing a book and needed help uh, and insight on the book publishing world. And he published a, a pretty great book, by the way. It's called Tell the Wind. For a man who plays at the pinnacle of power, fame, and society's most celebrated achievements, he was very open and vulnerable about what he didn't know and that he needed help. Here is the key point. People are just people. No matter how one's press agent has packaged them or what icon status society has propped up on them. Let me tell you firsthand, they do put their pants on one leg at a time and they do have fears needs, hopes, unfulfilled dreams and desires, just like the rest of us. When you embrace the idea that behind the curtain, there's just another kind, normal human being, it will evaporate the fear or hesitation that you have about reaching out and networking with them. So who's your big kahuna target? What one perspective relationship would make the biggest difference to the achievement of all your goals? I want you to tell us who that is in the comments below. Maybe somebody from the Darren Daily community can help you connect with them. And then we'll meet you right back here tomorrow morning as we continue on.